a subject that affects virtually every one of us, online privacy. There is still no comprehensive legislation on the books, but that could soon change. Tonight, correspondent Jillian Turner takes a look at some of the first steps. Do companies have a responsibility to ensure more transparency of how they collect, use, and secure user data. Online privacy, it's the number one cyber threat to Americans, according to cybersecurity experts. For years, lawmakers on Capitol Hill have been threatening to write legislation to govern online privacy, but have come up short. But now, in the wake of major privacy abuses by Facebook and data breaches at Equifax, Wells Fargo, and other giants that cost Americans billions of dollars, the Trump administration stepping up to the plate. The White House telling Fox News, through the White House National Economic Council, the Trump administration aims to craft a consumer Consumer privacy protection policy. That's the appropriate balance between privacy and prosperity. Insiders say the goal is to roll out a White House policy in the fall and have that policy serve as a blueprint for congressional legislation. On the Hill, Senators Mark Warner of Virginia and Richard Burr of North Carolina are taking the lead. They're advocating for a modern privacy protection policy. There's no committee of technology in Congress. There's no agency of technology in Washington. It all sort of dumps in our lap. Cyber experts caution that despite private sector lapses, Regulation should have limits. What I wouldn't want us to do is to follow the European model of regulate first and ask questions later. Top policy priorities government wide include rights for internet users, guidelines for what information companies can collect and how to collect it, and whether it can be shared with third parties. But private sector interests will have to factor in as well. I wouldn't want Congress to conclude that this is an opportunity to stick it to, to the technology companies because that's not going to be a fruitful or productive way forward. So far this summer, the administration's convened over 80 companies, consumer advocacy groups, and trade associations in 22 separate meetings. They're also holding ongoing discussions with Google and Facebook and plan to ramp up their efforts next month. Mike? Jillian Turner, thanks very much. You bet.